Have you ever wondered why some people seem to have all the luck in the world while others struggle to catch a break? The answer could lie in a concept known as the law of attraction. Before we delve into it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and join our community. Now, let's continue. So, uh, what is the law of attraction? Well, it's a philosophy that's been around for centuries, finding its roots in ancient civilizations and blossoming in modern thought. It's a concept that's been embraced by millions across the globe, from successful entrepreneurs to celebrated artists. The law of attraction operates on a simple yet profound principle, like attracts like. Imagine your mind is a magnet pulling towards it circumstances and experiences that match your thoughts. Um, this isn't limited to your conscious thoughts alone. Oh no. The subconscious mind plays a key role as well. Think of it as the silent puppeteer operating behind the scenes and influencing your life in ways you might not even be aware of. So, if you're constantly focused on problems, guess what? And you're likely to attract uh, more problems. Uh, on the flip side, if you're always thinking about uh, opportunities and success, you're more likely to attract those into your life. It's as simple and as complex as that. This might sound a bit out there for some of you, but it's not just wishful thinking or blind optimism. It's backed by the theories of quantum physics. The universe, you see, is made up of energy, including our thoughts. And energy, as we know, attracts similar energy. The law of attraction isn't about avoiding negative thoughts completely. That's not humanly possible. It's about being conscious of our thought patterns and actively redirecting them towards what we want to attract. So if the law of attraction is this powerful, how can we harness it to improve our lives? Imagine having an unseen ally guiding you toward your goals. That's the power of positive thinking. Positivity is the lifeblood of the law of attraction. It's the driving force that propels your deepest desires from the realm of imagination into the tangible world around you. Just as a magnet pulls towards it what it is aligned with, so too does your mindset attract experiences that mirror your thoughts. Think of your mind as a garden. Each thought is a seed. Positive thoughts are seeds of beautiful flowers, while negative thoughts are seeds of weeds. Now if you cultivate an environment that favors the growth of flowers, over time your garden will be a spectacle of beauty radiating with color and life. The same is true for your mind by nurturing a positive perspective. You create an environment conducive to joy, success, and fulfillment. So how does positivity play out in real life? Let's delve into some examples. Consider a person who consistently thinks positively about their financial situation despite not having much money. They believe they are capable of earning more and live with an attitude of abundance, not scarcity. Over time, they attract opportunities that improve their financial status. They might land a better job, find a mentor, or stumble upon an investment opportunity. On the other hand, take someone who is constantly worried about their health. They live in fear of getting sick, and their mind is often filled with thoughts of illness. This negative mindset can actually attract ailments and physical discomfort as the mind and body are intricately linked. But remember, positive thinking isn't about ignoring the negative or pretending that everything is perfect. It's about choosing to see the silver lining, focusing on solutions rather than problems 
and believing in your ability to overcome challenges. Uh, so make a conscious choice to cultivate positivity. Start your day with a positive affirmation. Celebrate your wins, no matter how small. Surround yourself with positive influences. Remember, your thoughts shape your reality. Remember, positivity is the key to unlock the full potential of the law of attraction. Thoughts are not just fleeting moments of consciousness. They are the architects of our reality. Our minds are like grand theaters where we can stage the play of our lives. Every thought, every imagination has the potential to influence our reality. This is not about magic or wishful thinking. It's about harnessing the power of our minds to bring about the change we desire in our lives. Picture your thoughts as seeds. Each seed has within it the potential to grow into a magnificent tree. Um, but for that seed to grow, it needs to be nurtured. It needs to be cared for. Likewise, our thoughts need to be nurtured with belief, with conviction, and with action. Now, let's talk about affirmations and visualizations. And these are uh, two uh, powerful tools uh, that uh, can help us uh, nurture our thoughts. Cool uh, affirmations are positive statements that uh, we you know, repeat uh, to ourselves, uh, statements that reflect the reality that we wish to create. Um, they are like watering our thought seeds, providing them with the nourishment they need to grow. Uh, visualizations, on the other hand, are like sunlight for our thought seeds. They allow us to see our thoughts in full bloom, to see the reality we want as though it's already here. By visualizing our desires, we're not only nurturing our thoughts, but also preparing ourselves for the reality we're creating. But remember, the process of turning thoughts into reality is not an overnight journey. It requires patience, persistence, and consistency. It's like tending a garden. You can't plant the seed today and expect a tree tomorrow. But with time, with care, you'll see your thoughts take root in your reality. The process may seem daunting, but remember, every journey starts with a single step. Start by choosing a thought, a desire. Nurture it with affirmations and visualizations. Believe in it act on it and with time you'll see your thought turning into your reality your thoughts are powerful tools use them wisely to create the life you want the law of attraction isn't just about thinking and feeling it's also about doing in the grand theater of life thoughts and feelings may write the script but it's action that brings the drama to life on stage. Think of it this way. Your thoughts are the compass. Your feelings are the wind in the sails and your actions. They're the vessel that journeys across the vast ocean of possibilities. It's easy to get caught up in the whirlwind of thoughts and emotions, to let them consume us, to let them define our reality. But this is only half the story. It's vital to remember that the law of attraction isn't a passive process. It's not about sitting back and waiting for the universe to deliver your dreams on a silver platter. It's about actively pursuing those dreams. It's about making them happen. Imagine a world-class athlete. They don't just visualize standing on the podium gold medal around their neck, the anthem playing in the background. Uh, they also put in the hours of grueling training, push through the pain, the sweat, the tears. They, they take tangible steps towards turning their vision into reality. The same applies to the law of attraction. You need to take action to move, to step out of your comfort zone. Your dreams are not going to chase themselves. 
Your goals are not going to achieve themselves. Your life is not going to live itself. You have to be the one to do it. So let's say you've got your thoughts aligned, your feelings tuned in, your vision crystal clear. What's the next step? Action. Make that call, write that book, start that business, run that marathon, do something, anything that moves you closer to your dream. Remember, the universe responds to energy. The more energy you put out, the more you will attract. And there's no greater energy than the energy of action. So get out there and do. Embrace the joy of the journey, the thrill of the chase, and the magic of the moment. Thoughts and feelings set the stage. But remember, it's action that steals the show. Now that we understand the law of attraction, how can we put it into practice? A question that deserves an insightful answer. The first step to harnessing the power of the law of attraction is setting clear and specific goals. Know what you want and express it in the most precise way possible. Whether it's to achieve a promotion at work, improve personal relationships, or simply to find more joy in your day-to-day -day life, the clearer you are about your desires, the easier it will be for the universe to respond. Uh, next, maintain a positive outlook. Um, remember, like attracts like. If you harbor negative thoughts or feelings, you risk attracting more negativity. Instead, foster positivity and optimism. Believe in the possibility of achieving your goals and trust in the process. Now, let's talk about visualization. Visualization is a potent tool in actualizing your desires. Uh, picture yourself achieving your goals. Visualize the emotions you'll feel, the people you'll meet, the places you'll see. By doing this, you're not just daydreaming, but actively creating a mental blueprint for the universe to fulfill. Yet the law of attraction isn't just about thoughts and feelings, it's also about action. You need to take concrete steps towards your goals. This could mean enrolling in a course, starting a new hobby, or simply waking up an hour earlier to work on your passion project. Remember, thoughts set the direction, but actions provide the momentum. In the end, the law of attraction is more than just a theory. It's a lifestyle, a mindset, a technique for achieving success and personal fulfillment. It's a journey of self-discovery and personal growth that requires patience, positivity, and perseverance. The law of attraction is a journey of self-discovery and personal growth and like any journey it begins with a single step so take that step today embrace the power of positivity visualize your success and take decisive action your journey towards manifesting your dreams starts now